If you're looking for the cheapest coins in Madden 23, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable. And make sure to use code WOLF for 3% off. Link is in the description. Well, it looks like they changed Madden 23 with this new title update. Now, I was waiting to drop the Nickel 33 scheme based off what this update said. That's why you haven't seen it in the members area. That's why I dropped the dollar three to the Wild Trail Week, the tight offset tight end, and the 4 6 coming. Dropping those because those are going to last with you through any update that they do because the concept base and they always work. However, I was waiting on the 3 3, these looping blitz, uh, loop blitz defenses for this update because I felt like if I drop the scheme for you guys and then they nerf the damn meta because that's what they usually do, then it's going to be pointless and worthless for you to use. So why not give you guys a foundation that you can work with? We'll go with the patch notes, we'll go with some of the, the labbing that I do after this. And then we'll see if it's still effective. If it is, I'll drop the scheme because now it's going to be months before we see another title update. So let's talk about what they changed today because I feel like uh, the gameplay update is probably the most important thing for us to look at uh, in today's video. Everything else, I don't really care about. So let's get right into it. Make sure you drop a like, become members. You want that competitive advantage? It's in the members area. Okay. Tuning to pass block handoff logic to allow pass blockers to hand off rushers to adjacent pass blockers during a defensive shed move attempt when targeting a separate rusher. Okay, so I would imagine like linebackers coming through the gaps, uh, your offensive line will actually hand off blockers. So they're, they're, they'll kind of work together better is what it's starting to sound like. However, a lot of this can be said, but usually people find the new stuff. I always find the new stuff and I bring it to you guys. Next is fixed an issue allowing a specific shed move to be too powerful and too frequent by user controlled pass rushes. So when you're at the D-line, there was a glitch going around where when you're at the D-line, you're pressing A or X if you're on PlayStation. As soon as the ball is snapped, you'll automatically get a shed and then you could just run, swap the ball. Or if you had like a defender who had the under pressure ability, would force the quarterback to throw an incompletion every single time or an interception, depending on how EA decided to serve you in that moment. It's probably been happening to you. That's probably why you were facing a lot more D-line users. I know I was facing a lot more D-line users, people using the Rams uh, and doing this. So we'd have to move to a run scheme to kind of like avoid it. However, even in the run schemes, these people were still cooking. So they fixed that. Looks like they nerfed that a little bit. The next is fixed a run block targeting issue where the right tackle wouldn't block the defensive end on gun spread, wide slot, weak halfback base versus specific defensive alignment. So shifting your linebacker to the side the halfback base was going, the guy was getting free and going straight for the running back. I've seen it before. I was labbing against it. I saw what was happening. So they fixed that, which was good. Fixed a run block targeting issue, leaving the defensive end unblocked on single back bunch quick pitch versus specific defensive alignments. Now, if you're still running single back bunch quick pitch, I mean, you kind of deserve to lose the games anyway. You don't want to run that kind of that play because the quick pitch in itself has been nerfed to the ground. So I'm actually surprised someone was actually running it and they found something for it. Unless it's good in Madden. You know what? I can't really say that it's no good anymore because I'm talking based off the past three or four Maddens. Things change. They could have allowed it again. You know what I mean? Who knows? I'll have to lab it up. I will lab it up just to make sure. Tuning to run blocker pursuit to improve the blocking path against user controlled defenders to better pick up user linebackers stacking behind defensive lines and shooting gaps. Now, I showed you guys, <laughs> I showed you guys videos of this. Uh, I don't know if they're targeting one of our videos or people just figured out what I showed you guys as far as the user rushers uh, with safeties. Now they're saying user linebackers. However, you put safeties in those positions, you're coming through the line like it's no problem. And I showed you guys, I think it was the 335 odd edge blitz play uh, that you could do that out of. Tuning to pass block movement to make pass blockers commit sooner to rushers moving near the line of scrimmage at the snap. Okay, I like that. So that's kind of falls in line with the user rushers and then passing off blockers. It's kind of working together, just probably just explaining a different angle to it. Tuning to pass block movement to make pass commit sooner to rush. Okay, so dev note. Uh, this tuning should reduce linemen from taking themselves out of position to block blitzers and provide better prediction for the movement direction of the rushers. Now you have stock plays, like you have the Sam Will Blitz, you have the OLB Blitz 1. Those defensive plays is probably what they're talking about. If you look at the play art on those plays, the edge rushers have a certain uh, uh, play art that none of the other players have. 
and those guys can come free off the edge. So I would imagine this may be what they're talking about. Next one is tuning to improve pass block prediction to better anticipate the direction of the rusher when coming out of their stance and are moving very slowly. So they're concentrating on the offensive line with this patch update a lot because they've realized, hey, our O-line is atrocious. However, with that being said, I don't see nothing in here yet that'll slow down the dollar three too. So if you're running the DB fire or spinner, I just don't see them being able to stop that blitz and the way it works and how it comes screaming off the edge, which by the way, the dollar three two is in the members area. Okay, fix an issue allowing the tight end. Wait, bro, am I even, my apologies. My apologies, son. 22 in blue, okay, very slowly. Fix an issue allowing the tight end to be assigned incorrect hot routes after using specific pre-snap motions in bunch formations. Now, this wasn't just happening to the tight end. This was happening on the defensive line. If you were trying to crash your defense right, if you didn't check it, it never changed. So not only was it that, or, or your adjustments or incorrect hot routes, right? It was it was the whole damn the whole damn line. It was offensive, it was defensive. You know what I mean? So I hope they did that too. They may have not fixed that because I don't know if it's gonna be in here, but it's happening on the defensive side as well. Tuning to reduce match distance on blow up blocker interactions versus user controlled defenders. So match distance on blow up blocker interaction. So that's going to be interesting as far as running the ball goes. So I guess they're coming down to the to the ball carrier. So tuning to ball carrier skill moves to reduce drastic changes in speed. To, did they slow it down or did they make it faster? Because cuts and stuff like that, I was actually pulling out of the, you know, when I'm running an inside zone and I see the right side open up, I can cut and go that way. Did they slow it down? Because that would hurt inside zone to get a little nerf if that was the case but if they made it better then they just buffed the inside zone tuning to reduce fumble chance for wide receivers playing in the halfback position in playbook packages where a wide receiver is intentionally placed at the halfback position such as those found in the 49ers Rams playbook the risk of fumbling was too high playing out of position will still carry a higher fumble chance than not but it will no longer be a significant damn I feel bad for the people running those plays I've never it was like what the Tyreek Hill situation, what two or three Maddens ago, where we we're putting Tyreek Hill at halfback and just cooking everybody uh, with no, what do you call it, with no fumble chances, right? We were cooking in that Madden, but it looks like this Madden. If you did that, you're getting cooked most of the time. You probably fumbled almost every time you tried it. So that's cool to see that they're actually letting you. Uh, I'll never use that setup again. Like the Wildcat stuff like that. That's all like older stuff that I'll never do again unless it becomes like meta fix the rare issue causing a player to warp off the ground after a sideline catch i haven't seen that one yet but shout out to that tuning to cover for quarter cornerbacks to better cover outside streak routes and trips formations now it wasn't just the four cover four quarters bro it was doing that in cover three it was doing that in cover two nobody guards the outside they let the outside streak go i was labbing that versus cover three and the guy was, it was certain formations on offense. I think it was a trips formation. I'm not, I think it was a trips formation. But the outside streak would always get outside the blue and the blue was playing weird. Like, come on, bro, just do what I'm do what I'm telling you to do. I'm sure you guys have given up touchdowns, not wondering what the hell happened. That was probably the reason. Fixed an issue causing receivers to sometimes step out of the back of the end zone while running their routes leading to illegal touch penalties. This used to be very bad in the older Maddens, to be honest with you guys. I can't even tell you how many times that happened to me in Madden 19. Tuning to give elite receivers more separation versus defensive backs in man press, which is going to make the Y off true a week that I dropped in the members area even more powerful because it has a lot of man beating setups for you guys to use. So if people are still trying to run man defense, and you got Hopkins, or you got elite receivers that can actually do the route running, these guys are gonna cook, man. I'm telling you guys right now. Tuning to better conserve momentum of wide receivers during mid-air collisions with defensive backs. Okay, well, that doesn't tell me nothing about ag catches though. I need to know what's going on with the ag catching. That's a big issue. Fix an issue allowing halfback wheel routes to beat cover one man coverage too frequently. I never use the fast enough halfback to beat anyone. <laughs> Connor's not that fast, but if you're probably using someone like Mostert, Jones, those guys, right? Maybe, but I hadn't used them at all this year in Madden 23, so I can't really vouch for what was happening as far as that defensive setup went. Tuning to reduce the catch chance on tip passes. Ooh, 
because you guys know whenever someone was knocking the ball out of the receiver's hands, it automatically go to the offense and they could catch it again or the defense and they catch. So now the catch chance on tipped passes is probably going to go down. And it could also mean for the defensive line to catch interceptions. I don't know. Could be either or. I'm going with the wide receiver issue. I'm not going with the defensive line. I wonder if the defensive line will still catch the ball and pick it. Tuning to make the AI QBs target user controlled cornerbacks and linebackers more often in face of the franchise player locked gameplay. Now that's for you guys in franchise, not really me. Uh, I'm more just head to head competitive mode, but I want to get into something like that, man. Let me know what you guys think about franchise this year, if it's even worth trying to learn. Next one is a variety of animation updates for first down celebrations pointing in correct directions. Bro, what we got to do, okay, we need to get rid of the Fortnite dances, bro. That's It's done. It's over with. I need you guys. Here's what I need you to do, okay? I need, this is, this is just me, my thoughts personally. What I need them to do, okay, just fix the gameplay. I don't even care if the gameplay is the same next year. But what I want is, I want authentic celebrations in the end zone. I want the sideline to react to big plays. I want the crowd to go crazy on big plays. I want the crowd to get louder on fourth down. If like, say my opponents in my stadium and it's fourth and 16, I want the crowd to go crazy, just loudness, right? And I want like maybe the screen, I want the screen to shake on every fourth down, right? Every fourth down, the screen should be shaking. Make it intense, make it immersive. I want to feel like I'm at a game because right now it just feels like I'm trying to throw a pass and complete it. I want to feel a part of the atmosphere. That's what I want, right? You want that adrenaline rush. You want that. You want that feeling, right? That other games give you, like horror games, right? You want that. You need that immersion. And right now, man, it has none of that, bro. Damn it, it has none of that. Updated nickel alignment position and nickel and dime cover two man plays versus bunch formations. Was <laughs> they're trying to, they're trying to make bunch worse uh, using the nickel and dime cover two man plays. So. Good luck to you guys running bunch, man. But I would imagine you're using uh, elite receivers versus man. So anyone trying to run the man defense is probably going to get cooked now. So we're going to have to test it. We're going to see what the vibes are. And then updated the Detroit Lions NFL Live playbook to be a 4-3 defense playbook and added three 4-3 formations to the Lions default defensive playbook. I don't know anybody running 4-3 since 1945, right? If you're still running 4-3, you're kind of hurting yourself since there is no weak box penalty using dollar or the faster uh, uh, defenses. So if I were you, I mean, I'm sure there are people that love 4-3. They know it like, and that's cool. Like the 4-3 wide, right? That defense was awesome at one point. You guys remember that? You guys remember cover two from the 4-3 wide? Wide nine, maybe? Can't remember. And then there's the franchise updates, but I'm not going to get into franchise updates. A lot to go over. Face of the franchise. Madden Ultimate Team. You guys know what the vibes are. Spend money, and they'll treat you how they want anyway. <laughs> it's either going to work or it's not. You know what I mean? You never know. You're probably going to get a reward. You might not. I know some people that have like a completed certain task and they haven't gotten the rewards and EA is not even going to give them their rewards, bro. Like they're like, who, who, new number, who this? <laughs> but that's just, that's what you deal with, man. And then they have the authenticity updates, things like that, man. And music, if you want to listen to more rap, because you know, that's what it is. Uh, I need the rock and just different vibe, bro. I'll take a, bro, I'll take a, a soul song. You know what I mean? I'll take something older, just throw it in there, make it random. Make it a random playlist, man. Why can't it be that? Right? You guys remember the song uh, uh, last year in Madden, <laughs> Madden 21? I can't remember, but it got to me so bad I had to turn the music off. It was a girl song, bro, and she just kept saying the same thing over and over. I got frustrated. Anyway, make sure you guys drop a like on today's video. Let me know what you think of the patch updates. Love you guys, man. Peace.